During the Rococo era, between 1720 and 1770, was an era of florid and intricate design style. After the remarkable progress in graphic design that took place during the brief decades of the Incunabula and the Renaissance, the 17th century was a relatively quiet time for graphic design innovation. Wildflowers and vines were applied to furniture, architecture, and the manuscript. However, immortal works by gifted authors, including William Shakespeare and Miguel de Cervantes, was widely published. One of the strongest graphic designers of this era was Pierre Simon Fournier Lejeune, a punch cutter, type founder, and typographic theoretician. He was both a collector and originator of types. He worked in the Rococo form and designed typefaces, including Fournier and Narcissus. He stocked the arsenals of Rococo printers with a complete design system of standardized measurements whose parts integrated both visually and physically. He pioneered the standardization when he published his first table of proportions. Jean-Gérard Barbeau was closely associated with Fournier Lejeune. In addition to publishing all of Fournier Lejeune's other books, the young Barbeau produced volumes of exceptional Rococo design. Combining Fournier Lejeune's decorative types and copper plate engravings by Charles Essien, who specialized in illustrations of graceful intricacy and sensual intimacy in vogue with royalty and the wealthy. Adding the talents of the engraver Pierre Philippe Chauffard, who specialized in ornate tell pieces and spot illustrations, resulted in book designs such as John de la Fontaine's Stories and News in Verse of 1762. The type founder, printer, and illustrator combined their talents to project the psychology of the Rococo era. The wealthy lived extravagant, sensuous, and pastoral lives in a fantasy land, oblivious to the misery and growing militancy of the poverty-stricken masses. These popular books remained in vogue until the French Revolution of 1789 and brought the monarchy and the Rococo era tumbling down. Fournier Lejeune made more typographic innovations and had a greater impact on graphic design than any other person of his era. For over two and a half centuries after the invention of movable type, England looked to the continent for typography and design leadership. Type and design ideas were imported across the English Channel from Holland until a native genius emerged in the person of William Caslon. William Caslon typefaces transformed English type design. He worked in a tradition of old-style Roman typographic design that had begun 200 years earlier during the Italian Renaissance and was the first that established an English national typographic style. Benjamin Franklin introduced Caslon with the official printing of the Declaration of Independence. This tradition was bolstered by John Baskerville, an innovator who broke the prevailing rules of design and printing. Baskerville was involved in all facets of the bookmaking process. His type design represents the zenith of the transitional style bridging the gap between old style and modern type design. The foundation for information graphics is analytic geometry, a branch of geometry developed and first used in 1637 by the French philosopher, mathematician, and scientist René Descartes, the father of modern Western philosophy.
The SCART used algebra to solve geometry problems, formulate equations to represent lines and curves, and represent a point in space by a pair of numbers. These numbers are called Cartesian coordinates. The axis can be repeated at regular intervals to form a grid of horizontal and vertical lines. The axis can be repeated at regular intervals to form a grid of horizontal and vertical lines called a Cartesian grid. Much of the subsequent Western philosophy is a response to his writings. Cartesian coordinates and other aspects of analytic geometry were later used by the Scottish author and scientist William Playfair to convert statistical data into symbolic graphics. Playfair worked hard to champion and spread his beliefs. In 1786, he published his commercial and political atlas. This book was laden with statistical compilations and introduced the line graph and the bar chart to graphically present complex information. These showed year-by-year -year imports and exports between England and its colonies, so surpluses and deficits could be seen at a glance. He also introduced the first divided circle, diagram, called a pie chart today. In his 1805 English translation of a French book, The Testistical Account of the United States of America, Playfair created a new category of graphic design now called information graphics. Around 1790, Giambattista Bodoni redesigned the Roman letter forms with a more mathematical, geometric, and mechanical appearance. It expressed vision and spirit of the machine age. He designed about 300 type fonts and planned a monumental specimen book presenting this work. William Blake was an English poet, painter, and printmaker. His style of work transcended the material of graphic design and printing to achieve a spiritual expression. His bright colors and swirling organic forms are forerunners to Expressionism, Art Nouveau, and Abstract Art. His reaction against the neoclassical emphasis on reason and the intellect, combined with his focus upon the imagination, introspection, and emotions as wellsprings, make his work a precursor of 19th century Romanticism. The 18th century closed with stormy political revolutions in France and the American colonies. All aspects of the human experience, including visual communications, were transformed by profound and irrevocable changes. England was the nucleus for the gathering forces of the vast upheavals of the Industrial Revolution. Thank you for watching and join me next time.